video for us today, especially you. I'm giving away a Rockwell 6C, one hell of a razor. I'm gonna do a beard reduction. I've got a week's worth of growth here. Haven't been feeling well, so haven't shaved because I haven't left the house. Go figure. All right, so it is a week's worth of growth. There's a ton here. I'm gonna start out on a level six plate and just to break this down for you, top cap, three piece. Um, you have three different plates. This one is a five and then the six on the other side. Whatever level you wanna shave on, you have to put, it has to be showing. So I'm gonna load it like this, as you can see, you know, it's an R6 plate, which is, you know, setting six. I'm gonna keep going with personas made in the USA and Virginia. I'm loving these blades. They are a little sharp. Uh, I don't think they're as sharp as a feather blade, but I would put it with, I'm gonna say maybe like a Gillette Platinum. Uh, honestly, they're that good. They're smooth on your face, but they're not, um, they don't dig like the feather blades does sometimes on your first shave. Now, I've cork blades, you know, that does help kind of deburr them, but you know, if you just want a good razor blade, personas. And the cool thing is these don't have any, you know, adhesive on them. I, I don't know why I like that, but I do. So um, a three piece razor, just gonna load it here. Got the top cap, just set it on top. Now the Rockwell 6, C and the 6S, there is an overhang, so I pinch it on the side. Grab which plate I want first, which I want the R6. Hold that together. Take the handle and screw it on. Okay, I normally back it off and put it back on. I have never had one of these razors be misaligned. Uh, I know I've heard in comments on uh, other forms that, you know, theirs was misaligned. I, I, I just, I haven't had a problem with any of their razors. I think their quality control is excellent. Even though this one right here is, uh, you know, made of pot metal, zinc alloy, and made in China, uh, it's still casted and it still has to go through Rockwell's quality control department. So, you know, Rockwell's based out of Canada. The 6S is actually tooled in the United States and then, you know, shipped from Canada. So that's pretty cool. So if you're trying to buy, you know, USA made stuff, which I do, I, I mean, I'll pay a few more dollars for it. I don't care. And if you don't either, get the 6S. Hell, it's stainless steel anyways. It's better metal. It's a little heavier in the hand. I mean, you know you're holding something, but this one you do too. So you can't go wrong with any of them. The reason why I'm giving this one away though is because it was the razor that made me a better shaver. It really did. Having, you know, these other two plates here to put in is a huge difference when you're trying to learn. With this style of safety razor, you, you gotta get your technique down. It's not like shaving with a uh, Henson, you know what I mean, where it doesn't cut if you don't get the perfect angle or, you know, like a leaf twig, there's a little bit of leeway there as well but you don't have the ability to adjust it. You know what I mean? If you have a thick growth, if you have one day growth, you're stuck with that razor, which I've proven over time, that doesn't matter. There's certain things you can do that you can get through, you know, pretty much any growth you have. But to take it to another level, this razor is king of the hill. You can ask a lot of people here on YouTube, uh, Everybody loves this razor. And you know, I listen to Sinatra Lennon a ton. He highly recommends this as well. I totally agree with him. This is, uh, this is a no brainer. Um, you know, everybody's going to, if you're new, if you're new to safety razors, you know, the leaf twig, 
and the thorn is a great way to go. Or even the Henson, because you're learning. It's a great learning tool. Um, some people start out with the McCurr 34C as well. Uh, that one, you know, is pretty much like this. There's no forgiveness. It is, you know, a mild razor, safety razor, but, you know, when I was learning off of it, I was still cutting the shit out of my face. And you can go back in my previous videos and you will see I make quite a few mistakes. But that being said, one hell of a razor. This is going to be a great giveaway. Uh, stick around and I'll tell you how to enter. All right, so getting started. I'm going to put some warm water on my face. A lot of people have asked, you know, do you use cold water, hot water? What do you use? I just use warm water. I don't use like scalding hot water. Um, I don't, I don't use scalding hot water. So I put it in, you know, the sink basin here, fill it up about halfway enough to, you know, just be able to clean out the razor. So that being said, I, I, I use maybe, it's just warm. It's not hot. Like I wouldn't take a shower in that. That's too damn cold. So that's just me. I'm going to be using their pre-shave oil as well. Use this a few times, starting to like it. And you know, when you have a lot of growth, pre-shave oil works out great for me. So I'm just gonna put two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna put eight. Now I got it in there. I'm gonna put some in my fingertips here. And I'm just gonna rub it in where I'm gonna shave. Uh, oils, now you get it all over your hands, so you're gonna have to get get that off your hands. So I'm just gonna roll that down in there, use a hand towel here, wipe it off my hands. All right, now to go on top of that, one of my favorites, uh, made by Razor Rock, Son of Zeus, this stuff's good. I would normally bloom, you know, inside this puck, but since I'm using the pre-shave oil, no reason to bloom water because I'm already putting something on top. All time favorite, Simpson Synthetic T3 Knot. This Talafager Knot is awesome. A lot of people are switching to synthetics and I can tell you why. They're soft on your face and they're half the price. For a good badger brush, you're gonna pay 60 to even over $100 for a badger brush. That's at least 24 millimeters like this one. This one, I think I paid $32 for it. I think now it's selling for, you know, uh, $42. But the cool thing is with a badger brush, you gotta soak this in your sink or, you know, in a shave bowl while you're taking a shower. You gotta prep the tip. But look at this, it's already prepped and you just go right in. You know, and I have had people ask, how many hairs have fell out of, the, out of your brush? Well, I don't put this in scalding hot water, and if you are, I don't care, any brush you have, don't go into where all the glue is. Keep the water level just in the bristles. If you go up here in scalding hot water, obviously it's gonna loosen up, and you know, hairs are gonna fall out. So keep that in mind. Oh, it's cold. All right, just going down and getting some of the tips wet here. I'm just gonna work this out. Now I did this completely wrong today. I normally put some soap on my face, then load the razor. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> but I'm so happy to give away this razor. God, it's one of my go-tos. I do a ton of head shaves with it. I just like it. I like all their razors. I mean, if you want, you know, like a butterfly, they have a T2, you know, it's butterfly, micro adjustments, one to six. It's actually even more aggressive than that six plate. They have so many options. And the greatest thing is the razors are so smooth on your face you'll definitely recognize the difference. All right, now I kind of wish I did have some hot water in that sink. 
Yeah, this son of Zeus is good. It's really good. I don't know if you guys have used Razor Rocks, any of their products. I hear they got some good razors as well. Uh, I think they're based out of Canada as well. Good stuff. And comment down below. And Razor Rock, if you're watching, send me some razors. Down in some water, going in for the first pass here. Find your spot on your ear. She's a beauty. I mean, she's an absolute beauty. I'm gonna do that little Fu Manchu. Something different. <laughs> Gotta cut in my neckline. Smooth, just so smooth. The Razor Rock Shave Soap and the uh, pre shave oil working out great. You gotta make sure you got the right combination when you use that. If not, you know, you'll start in the shave channels back here. It'll start gooking up and it's just a complete pain in the butt. And you know, then you gotta start you know, running water under it just to clean it out, which pointless. All right, so. All right, let me cut this in the way I want it. My last video, I had a, a slant razor and it cut the shit out of my lower chin. I'm not a big fan of slant razors, but this razor right here is so smooth, it won't cut me down there. But I've shaved with this a million times. I'm just that confident with it because it's that good. I mean, come on, America. It's good. And see how I rock that in to get that angle? Very important. You'll quit cutting yourself. <clears throat> Trying to work on, I was thinking about doing some handlebars, just some, you know, really tiny twist. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to let it grow out down here. We'll see. Not sure if that's a good lineup or not. Okay, now down to my sensitive part. That's where this razor is gonna shine.
I mean, I can barely feel that blade on a level six. That's just, Rockwell just kills it when it comes to smooth shaving razors on your face. They, they dominate. Good first pass. Wow, I mean, one pass. I could stop here. I really could. But I'm gonna take it, you know, another step forward. This is, this is good. I, this is where I would be at with a disposable razor or, you know, uh, a cartridge razor, like, you know, a Gillette, Shake Bick, whatever, Dollar Shave Club. That's where I'm at right now. And I try to explain that to people. A mild safety razor is like 10 times sharper than a cartridge razor or a disposable razor. They're just, they just are. And you get better shaves. So just applying some more of this on, we're going to do a quick second pass here. Got to just put it on some new brakes on my truck. The dealership wanted, well, I got an oil change. I always do my own brakes, but the dealership wanted, I think it was like fourteen or $1,500 for brakes and rotors all around my truck. And I'm like, he's like, uh, we'll just put it on a credit card today. And I'm like, uh, dude, no. Yeah, I can do that on my own. So anyhow, I went to Summit Racing, which, you know, they're all over the United States, but we're lucky if we have one up in Talmadge, which is, I think it's about an hour away from Canton. Drove up there, well, I called him on the phone. Ended up getting some slotted and drilled rotors and premium brake pads for just under 600 bucks. That was awesome. And then I had a buddy of mine put them on. So I made out. Now, normally now I like take the tips. I'm not gonna have to do that. Look how good. This razor rock is actually one of the subscribers gave me, gave this stuff to me like over a year ago. And it's still, I mean, look how much it pops. Freaking awesome stuff. I'm on a six. I'm going to take it down to, let's go to a three. So I'm going to put the three plate on. Now, again, if you want the three plate, it's got to be showing. All right. So got the top cap on same thing as last time. I want the three, so it's gotta be showing, okay? And she's loaded. Looks a little grungy, but she's good. Now that I got, you know, the bulk of that beard down, I can take longer strokes with the razor. Some people ask that. Your first pass, you know, you wanna take smaller strokes. Your second pass, you can take longer ones if you get enough of that, you know, of your beard down, which I do right now. Wow, this is a great blade setup for this razor too. So if you win this razor by entering at Ohio Shaves Rockwell 60, I'll throw in some of these Persona blades in because they're good, really good.
razor's so good. The tone's off of it. it. It pretty much lets you know if you gotta flip the razor. You can tell just by the tone that this razor makes, which I think is a beautiful thing. I mean, I, I use it all the time. And especially when, you know, I'm editing software from, you know, the different microphones that are picking up the sound, it, it really pronounces it and you can tell, but you know, just sitting here in my own bathroom, it, huge difference. I mean, just a huge difference. The sound it makes compared to some other razors that don't make any sound. Yeah, what a lovely razor. I am so happy to give that away. Um, and everyone's gonna ask, when's the drawing? I'm just shy of 5,000 subscribers, so when I hit 5,000, it's going up. All right, it's going out the door. Okay, let's wet this alum block here. And thanks everybody for subscribing to this channel. I've grown exponentially. And I am so grateful to all of you for all your comments, for liking all the videos, sharing them with your friends. Dude, that's awesome. And you know, it really does help just to even like a video, it's big. So thank you guys so much. And that's one of the reasons why I'm giving away so many razors, just to give it back to you. A lot of people think that, uh, People on YouTube are just trying to get free stuff. Uh, pretty much anything free I get, I'm giving away. And I was talking to some people, you know, I haven't given away the razors I don't like. And they're like, dude, give them away. Someone's gonna like them. There are people out there that like razors that you don't. And you know what? They're right. So I'm gonna start all the razors that I have that I don't like. I'm just gonna start unloading them. Might do a short with them or something and start giving them away because, hell, I'm not using them. Now there are some razors I have to keep because they're so popular and I like to compare razors. If a razor, you know, feels good, I wanna compare it to something that feels good too. One of my favorites and thanks to all of you for introducing this to me, this Thayer's Witch Hazel. I don't know what it is in it, it's uh, it's so refreshing. And what a damn good shave. I mean, no cuts, no nicks. That alum block didn't sting anywhere. That was actually a perfect shave with a Persona blade. I mean, I gotta give those away. All right, to go on top of that, springtime. So I'm going to put something light on. I'm going to put some Nivea. This stuff's great. Uh, you can still pick it up on Amazon for, I think it's $12 and you get three of them. You go to the grocery store, it's usually like nine or it's usually like eight or nine dollars for one bottle. So definitely go to Amazon to pick that up. What a good shave. I mean, and like I said, even going around, this is a difficult area for me to shave. My last video, I cut the shit out of it. Um, but with a smooth shaving razor, uh, no problem whatsoever. Down below, it, it's, it's undeniably one of the best razors in the world, period. It is. So again, breaking this stuff down. When you get this razor, it is used, but you will see my razors are very well cap. I don't, uh, I clean them every time. I had quite a few people comment that, do you shave with a new razor on every shave? No, dude, I just clean them. I mean, I really do, I sit and clean them. I don't always do it on camera, but I, I clean them, I do. So top cap, I just shaved with two of these. I shaved with the, you know, the R1 and R3 plate, which, you know, if you're looking to buy one of these, that is actually the uh, 2C or 2R, or whatever they call it. The one right below the 6C, uh, it comes with a one and three plate. 
I think it's 40 bucks uh, right now. This one is the Rockwell 6C is going for 60, but if you use Ohio underscore shaves, which I'll put that link below, you're going to get, you know, 10% off, which keeps it at 55 bucks, which for $55, it's hard to get a better razor, especially if you're looking to up your game. I know a lot of people here on my channel are new. I am too. I've got a ton of video. I pretty much uh, documented my first shave to where I'm at today. And they're all on there. And you can watch them all. So, I actually ended up rinsing or cleaning every plate. But I, I want to show just how good. This razor looks so good. Rockwell 6 Seat does not come in a nice case like this. You have to get, but I'm gonna give it to you. This is a pretty cool case to have it in. So this came from um, the 6S that I have. So I'm gonna actually send it in this just because it's one freaking cool case. You have to load up one of these to put it in here. There's some Rockwell blades in there. Actually, I'm just gonna load it right now. Take out a few of these personas, and I'm putting in some Gillette Nasset blades in there. That'll go nicely. I close, yes. So this is what she's gonna look like when you get it. I'm just gonna keep it right in there. There is a, a card, which I'll throw the card in there as well. And you know, this foam goes on top. And I hope you win this. This is this is one of my favorite razors. Like I said, you can head shave with it. Um, what a beautiful gift for me reaching 5,000 subscribers. I mentioned earlier on how to enter the contest. Uh, this is just one hell of a giveaway. And I am so thankful for all of you guys for your support, using all my codes, and liking and sharing the video. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you down the road.